Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Techie Kumar. In the previous video, we learned about how to create and manage Git branches using source tree. In this video, we are going to learn how to work on multiple requirements using source tree, which will be very seamless and very easy to work on that. So let's suppose we have a developer and a lead. Now, developer has got a requirement for April release and he is working on his requirement. Let's suppose a scenario where a developer has received a requirement from lead that he has to create a get API to fetch a cube of a number and that requirement is going to be released in April this year. So he has started working on that requirement. After an hour, lead ask the developer to start working on a defect which is found in production. As of now, let's suppose in production we have a release of March. So now the developer was working on working for April and now he has to start working on production defect. So there are you know different approaches to work in this kind of scenario but I will suggest or I will show you one scenario that I adopt while working on this kind of requirements so generally what what you can do you can have a two different workspace one which is going to be worked on you know you are going to use for current release and another you can keep for production defects okay so now what i feel we don't need to have two different workspace for the same code base we can we can work on them smartly using source tree so let's see how we can do it let's get into the workspace so you can see right in source tree here we have two branches release this is uh, this is march release and currently developer is working on april release i have already explained like what is the requirement as of now uh, the current branch for the developer is april now he has to start working on defect so now what he can do The first step to start working on defect, what, what the developer should do, he should stash the current changes. So let me show you what are the changes, uh, you know, uh, as a developer, he has done for the current requirement. So let me go to file status. So I can show you, right? So here you can see that he has added a uh, endpoint and then also has done some changes in service layer these two files has been modified to get the cube of a number now because he has to start working on a defect which in which we have to modify the same file so in this scenario we are not going to create a different workspace we are going to work on a same workspace but the source tree will help us to work in different scenarios in a smarter way now the first step would be you just stash the changes what you have done in your current branch name the change this is just for a reference you can leave it blank as well okay so in current branch there is no change now because we have to work on a defect in uh, in the production so this is the branch which is being deployed which is already deployed in production so I'll, uh, I'll switch to this branch okay now I'll go to file status so you can see there is no change now let's go into the editor so here in ID I'm in the March branch so let's go here and let's suppose we have a defect so that any number which is less than 5 is not getting cast on the server so the requirement was to uh, you know cast numbers you know greater than 3 not greater than 5 and here we have put the condition so the condition is any number greater than 5 would be cast but 
maybe the developer's mistake or uh, someone has not read the requirement clearly so in that case there would be probability that you know condition was uh, you know handled in correct way so now what we have to do we have to update this condition so what i'll do i'll make it three now any number greater than three would be cast so now let's go to source tree i have saved this file so in the source tree we can see like we have done a small change so let's commit this okay i'll push this to release branch select this file we want to stage this and then push it so this will do both commit and push okay so now the developer has finished his job uh, you know he has fixed the defect and now this defect fix will be you know planned to uh, deploy in production in the upcoming uh, weekend now developer has to resume his job what he has left half an hour before so what he could do he could go to the april branch on which he was working he will switch to that branch using source tree so now his current branch is april as of now he has he has no change in his workspace so now he has to go to stash and he has to apply this, that stash to his current branch so i click ok now we go to file status so now you can see that we got our changes back then we can test this first before going into post the application let me restart my application ok so now i am going to get a queue of 10 so I'm getting proper response and you can see that it is being you know getting first time from the service layer if I hit again it should return from the controller itself it won't go to service layer because we are using caching it goes to service layer in fact but it doesn't calculate those values it doesn't do the calculation it returns from the cache now if I try for you know any number less than 5 so that caching will not happen and every time that calculation will be done by the service layer so you can see that i'm inside the service layer and the calculation is being done now let me hit again so second time as well it came into this uh, service um, method square method sorry here it is cube method and it does that does that calculation okay so now this is the way like how we can work on multiple branches multiple requirements all together without losing our changes in same file so let me conclude this first step would be you stash your changes whatever you have done and then you switch back to your current uh, switch back to your another branch in which you want to work you complete your job Post that changes to server and then again you come back to uh, current branch where you had where you are working and then you apply the stash what you have saved earlier and then after you are good to work on the current requirement so that's all for this video if you like this please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you very much